Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mrs. M, your host. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below to subscribe to my channel. That way you receive all the information on what you need to do to build your cleaning business towards six figures and beyond using federal government. That's right. Federal government cleaning contracts is the way to go. So I was surprised. I knew, but I, I guess I didn't pay any attention. So I received a phone call yesterday from someone that had a concern because they're not a prime as far as they, they want to be a prime, but they have no past performance. So of course, once again, when it comes to government, there are certain things that you have to do when it comes to getting started. So I always talk about, there's like three steps. One are your requirements. What do you need to do to actually be able to play in the federal space? Number two, how do you do your research to even be able to market to the buyers? And number three, actually looking for contracting opportunities. One, two, three. So first of all, there are basic things you need to do in order to be able to do business with the federal government. The first thing is obtain your EIN number, then your DUNS number, then go into login.gov, create an account, so you can log in and start to build your profile in SAMS. I cannot emphasize it enough. Having a profile is not enough. It's the type of profile that you have in SAMS. Have you uploaded all your certificates, things that you've done, and the ever so important past performance? Now, this particular student joined with us because she was actually a nurse and was totally burnt out on nursing. So I was so excited to welcome her into the family. And so actually we are called Gov Cleaning Contracts Simplified Academy. Yes. So we teach you how to build your business using federal government cleaning contracts. In our academy, we start in on the basics, how to get registered in SAMS. We walk you through what to put in your profile. Then we have this one other thing that only our students get to know. We're not going to tell you what we need to do to even sweeten the pot, but we will give you a lot of information on this channel, but there are some things that we reserve just for our students, like our secret sauce on how to spice up that profile. Anyone can create a SAMS profile to do business with the government. Now, what is SAMS? That means System for Award Management for Contracts. So assistant for award management, that's what SAMS actually stands for. Now, one of the things I talk a lot about is meeting the requirements, knowing, understanding the steps. So I was with the EIN and then obtaining your DUNS number and then actually doing the SAMS registration and that, that final step that we teach our students to do when it comes to creating another profile that is ever so important when it comes to government um, buyers or government buyers, and that's who we're marketing to. Our capability statement also is under the basic requirements. You cannot do business with the federal government without having a spicy and very alluring, uh, and I always like to say somewhat sexy, uh, a capability statement. You don't want it to be boring and blah, blah, blah. That's not what you want. You want it to be spicy and have a lot of information, but it needs to be very aesthetically pleasing to the eye because it, has, it needs to have a flow and a format. So that's all about branding. And then when we get into the middle part, because remember I said there's several steps in, let's say, module one, and then module two is the middle. That is marketing. How to market and research to your federal buyers, to market to them. There is a certain knack when it comes to introducing yourself and the ever so important elevator pitch. You need to have an elevator pitch. And that means that you can pitch what you do, who you are, and why they should buy from you in 30 seconds or less. That is your intro, your federal government intro elevator pitch, along with a series of emails that you want to send to your federal buyer. Then, of course, you then want to look at what opportunities are available and build that relationship as well. So there's quite a few moving parts, but it all fits together. That's what you need to do. There's certain things you do, how you put what comes first, what comes second. Those are more the tactics that we go into with our students. But what you need to do is actually the basis of getting started. And 
I was really surprised when this person called me and they're now a student of ours and they wanted to understand exactly what do they need to do if they have no past performance. And so we went into what they need to do. One of the things you need to do is start out with as a sub. That's a really great place to start. You can actually go to subnet.gov and start out as a subcontractor. There's ways to register, look for prime contractors. Those are the ones that actually have the contract. Subbing would mean you're working underneath the prime to get that ever so important past performance. So these are a lot of items that you can work on immediately to start getting those federal government trillion dollars is out there. Of course, set asides are so important. Uh, your 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 uh, capability statement, your past performance, your relationships, all of these are going to do the step by step by step. Now, if you're interested in learning more than that and you want to know the the strategy is how and the tactics are uh, well, let's go over this. The strategy is what you need to do and the tactics are how you do them. So strategy is what you need to do and tactics are how. Some individuals get those two confused. So in this master class that I teach on how to win big in government cleaning contracts, then we're going to teach you the what, which is the strategy and the how, which are the tactics. So make sure you click the link below so first, I want you to register for our channel. That way you receive all the information on how to play in the federal market space, federal government for cleaning contracts specifically. But I also would love for you to attend the masterclass, How to Win Big in Government Cleaning Contracts. This is going to be so important in building your cleaning business well beyond what you'd ever imagine. There's so much money out there in the federal space when it comes to cleaning, cleaning contracts. And I would love for you to be able to have some of that as well. So if you're burnout in your current industry, or if you've been doing just janitorial cleaning without in, infusing some federal government contracts, now is the time to do that. They've just started their new fiscal uh, budget for 2021, and you need to get a piece of that pie. So if this sounds like something that would really help you grow, scale your cleaning business, by all means, make sure you register. Space is limited, and I look so forward to seeing you there because it is a live event. We only allow so many individuals because we love to do a Q&A session where you can ask us any questions after the presentation, and we are going to answer them. So I look forward to seeing you there. Make sure you click the link to register and to subscribe to the channel that way you receive and you don't miss out on anything on what you need to do to actually compete in the federal government space. Until next time, I'm your host, Mrs. M. Look forward to seeing you again. And until next time, be, be, be safe, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.